And we're back. What's up? Hey guys. Um, so like, uh, the world is still super sick. Um, it's not, the, the curve's flat, but is it, you know? Uh, but I don't really want to talk about the virus again. And so today, I'm gonna try to explain, uh, what a funny number is. Uh, hopefully you'll understand by the end of this that 2 times 4 is just a funny 8. But, uh, I think we need to describe what is a number first. Uh, we have a, f a few groups of numbers. We have the natural numbers, which is the numbers that you count with, like 1, 2, 3, and so on. Uh, and then we have the whole numbers, which is the natural numbers including 0, because sometimes you need a 0. Um, and then we have the integers, which are the natural numbers, plus or minus. Uh, and then we have the rational numbers, which are just the rational numbers over another rational number. Uh, and then we have, wait, integer over another integer. And then we have, uh, after rational, we have irrational numbers, like pi and e and the square root of 2. And then we have imaginary numbers, which are numbers that uh, finish some equations, like, a, like a x plus x squared plus 3 equals zero. It's hard to solve that because you gotta subtract three to the other side and then take the cube root and what's the even the cube root of negative three, you know? This is an imaginary number. Uh, so, now that we have all of our numbers sorted out, what's a funny number, you know? But let's take a step back and say, what is, what is funny, you know? Funny is hard to define. Uh, but if I were to define what is funny, it's uh, something that is unexpected that provokes uh, laughter or other form of panic response. Now, uh, laughter as a panic response. That is, like you ever, uh, you ever see something that you know you shouldn't laugh at, but then you laugh at it? It's because you're panicking. It's because you don't know how to, how to interpret that information. It's your brain uh, fast refreshing, kind of, you know? So like uh, when a comedian says a joke and then gives you a punchline, uh, hopefully you didn't expect the punchline, otherwise that joke's a lot less funny, you know? If I told you a joke you already heard, uh, it's going to be less funny because it's expe it, you expect the answer. Now, if I told you that the square root of 64 is 2 times 4, that doesn't look like a square root. It just, it just doesn't even look like 8. But it's a pretty funny 8. So if I asked you what's the square root of like 9, 3 is not like not that funny. But if you say 9 over 3, that's kind of funny because you got a 9 in the answer, right? And you really shouldn't have a 9 in the answer when you're taking the square root of a 9, right? Yeah, there's a lot of things you can do with numbers that make them uh, funnier numbers. Now I think my, I think the funniest number is uh, a dozen of gross and a score plus three times the square root of four uh, is a dozen squared and no more. Three times eleven. Wait, a dozen is uh, twelve. A gross is I want to say a hundred. And a score is 20, or 100. One second. So, uh, I for sure said it wrong moments ago. Uh, it's a limerick that was posted by Asgardian Television on Tumblr. I don't know when. I saw it on iFunny. Don't know when. Uh, but it's, it goes a dozen a gross and a score, plus three times the square root of four, all over... 7 plus 5 times 11 is 9 squared and not a bit more. So a dozen is 12, a gross is a dozen dozen, which is 144, which is plus 12 is uh, 156. A dozen and gross and a score, a score is 20, that's 178 plus 3 times the square root of 4, which is 6. So one. 
I forgot what numbers I was saying. Okay, so it does an engross in the score. 144 plus 12 plus 20. 144 plus 32. Uh, 176 plus 6 is 182 all over 7. Uh, 7 goes into 18 two times, with 2 left over. Uh, 7 goes into 2, 20, 26? That doesn't sound right. Uh, one sec. So a dozen of gross in a score plus 3 times the square root of 4 is 1. 178 because a dozen in a gross is one 130 136 156 plus 6 is 1 ah. okay I'm cheating um so a dozen a gro gross and a score plus three times the square root of four is 182. All over seven is 26 plus five times 11 is 81, which is nine squared and not a bit more. <sighs> That's a lot of mental math that I really thought I should be able to do. Um, but yeah, that, that feels like a funny 9 squared, you know? If you just said, hey, what's, uh, what's 81? You're like, I don't know, what's 81? Like, oh, you know, it's a dozen of gross in a score plus two, 3 times the square root of 4 all over 7 plus 5 times 11. Yeah. That's like the longest way to say a number, I think. Longest, like, besides like the long numbers, you know? Because like, 81 isn't like a long number. Anyway, that was today. That was that was a funny number. Uh see you next time.